What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a fairly new shopping mall here in downtown Flushing, Queens. The Tangram Mall. I'm here on Prince Street just off of 38th Avenue. This is the Tangram Tower which isn't part of the mall but it's connected to it. Basically, this complex is a mixture of residential and commercial. People do live in this tower. Address is 37-12 Prince Street. And as you can see, there's a variety of different services here pharmacy, restaurants, uh, medical. Orange Theory Fitness is over here. But this is what we're here to see, the Tangram Food Hall. It's really revolutionary and I won't spoil it. It's actually my first time in here. I know what it's about, but I don't want to spoil it for myself either. As you can see, there's still a lot of vacant space here, so more stores are yet to come. This is the movie theater, Regal Cinemas. meat fresh and this is something that's very specific I know Asians they like to play badminton it's not really so popular in the West but there's a store for badminton supplies Food hall is down there. I think we'll stay on the second floor for now. We'll get a much better viewpoint from up here. This building is fairly new. I think it opened about two and a half years ago. The food hall opened um, earlier this year in January. Looks like there's an event space down there, a stage. I like this place. Really looks fancy. Shu Lun Khan. Smells good too. Hot pot restaurant, you can get different broths, meats, veggies, whatever you want. Thank you. Here's what I want to show you. The brand new food hall of Tangram. It really looks like 
Asia in here. Hong Kong street food. We got a social media wall. Angry Birds themed store. This is new. Well, this is cool. If you're a fan of the Angry Birds brand, you can come in here. So they even have uh, birds and piggy desserts. Yeah, look at this. They even have the birds from the game and the app here. It's so cool. It's like there's an interactive uh, game you could play too. This is one of the coolest themed stores I've ever been in. Still a lot of empty stalls here. Oh my goodness, look at this. You can even get a custom Angry Birds cake. I kind of feel guilty about eating a cake like this though, but you can get it if you want, 290 bucks. Egg is heart station. Three twenty five for a Portuguese egg tart here, and that's what they look like. Modern Vietnamese. The glare is a little bit annoying, sorry about that. But definitely looks good. They have so many different toppings here and selections. And pretty nice view too. Got a good sunset, some seating areas. Spicy hot pot. Pachu. Wonder if it's a reference to the Beatles. Korean hot dogs at Crunch Cheese. Oh, 
Zaway Kitchen. Looks like these specialize in dumplings. I have to say, this food court, uh, hall is a bit on the pricey side. Not an inexpensive food hall by any means, but. Mala beef rice ball. Six twenty-five. Let's check out Haloi here on the end. This kind of looks like a bar. Looks cool. Very trendy and modern food hall, but I would say it's not for the general public with these prices. Although I have to say, not all the stalls are open yet. What intrigues me the most though, I think is this Singko Choi Ki restaurant. That treasure combo looks okay. But as you can see here, 17 bucks for beef rice noodle soup, $20 for abalone and seafood. They already changed the price on the seafood. Let's see what's down here. Oh, there's some more um, restaurants down here. There's Sion Famous Foods, which also started here in Flushing and then expanded. But the main location is in um, on Main Street, Hop Mart Robo Shop. Looks kind of interesting. on famous foods. They're a tad bit on the spicy side, although you can adjust the spiciness. However, those dishes are meant to be eaten with a little bit of spice. Here are sushi. Revolving sushi, wow. I had no idea there was a revolving sushi place here. And usually how this works is they uh, charge you by the color of the plate. There's training in session will be opening soon. So they're not even open yet, but good to know there's gonna be a revolving sushi place coming to Flushing, Queens.
in Beijing Juchi restaurant. I can't believe this mall now. There's so many different options and I had no idea it was here. Here's Moo Salon. One of the fanciest hair salons I've ever seen. They even have balloons hanging from the ceiling. I don't even know how much they would charge for a haircut in a place like that. Maybe over 50 bucks for a guy. Mini Su. This is a Japanese uh, retailer. Really known for a lot of their cute stuff. I really like their concourse level. It's very inviting. So this exits towards College Point Boulevard. The other way was 39th Avenue. Here's Mochi Mochi, drink spot. I don't know how successful this mall is going to be over the coming years, but it looks very promising. Not sure if the food hall upstairs is going to draw a lot of people inside though. What's up? It's my first time in this mall. It's, this is crazy. Yeah. Nice to see you. All right. Let's see where this exit to College Point Boulevard leads to. Not the best entrance, I give it that. <laughs> but they do have a parking lot, it seems. Their hours are Sunday to Monday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Let's check out the parking prices since I know many of you won't even consider coming here unless there's parking. But you can take the 7 train to the last stop at Flushing Main Street. Kind of pricey for parking, but that's New York City. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoy this video of the Tangram shopping mall here in Flushing, Queens. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.